don't even know. I don't think I should open this box. Because it is surgical equipment seems to be secured. I'm not gonna open it. Okay. Yes, I'm opening it. My name's Olivia. I was born with a rare genetic condition. My suffering does not define With every me. battle I face, I am made stronger through faith. And free! Yeah! Hey guys, so first off, just want to say I'm hoping the whole video is not going to be me sitting here talking because I don't intend on it. But yeah, lately my videos have been ending up like that because one, I haven't really been able to go anywhere because COVID is getting really bad again. And I mean, it was it's worse than it was. So I've been having to be super cautious again. And also, um... I think that's all I had to say about that, but I think, yeah, this video shouldn't be all just like you sitting here watching me talk. Um, hopefully I'll be doing other things, but for right now, this is how it is. Also, school has been incredibly busy because um, there was midterms and a research paper, and now there is exam two and a research paper for... Um, one of my classes and then one of them has like a project and oh it's just a lot and I've been sitting in this chair like all day every day and like swapping out from this chair to my bed because then my hips are starting to dislocate sitting here but uh another thing is I chopped off all my hair yesterday night and um it's not the first time I've been chopping it off every couple months to uh, try and get it to grow out healthy again because I realized I did not start vlogging um, when I had my hair like this because I'm looking at my YouTube channel right now. You guys haven't seen me. If you don't know me personally, then you haven't seen. I used to have, first off, white hair, rose gold hair. Um, then it was practically red hair, and then it went back to white. And then um, I had hot pink hair and then I did purple hair and then it was blue hair and then I had an ombre so it's changed a lot and I I did so much damage to it so I was trying to get all my like party side out of me a couple years ago so um now I'm just trying to let it grow back healthy but um to do that, I have to chop off all of the dead hair or it's gonna keep splitting higher and higher, which is what was happening. So it's almost all back to healthy. As you can see, it's very curly right now. Um, it was an afro <laughs> right after doing it, but I haven't refreshed my curls and they're kind of like becoming tame now. It needs more curl cream too but yeah anyways so um quick update first I want to say a while back I made a video about me not being able to put on any more weight and um, then my dietitian increased um, the amount of feet I was getting and I got more stomach pain and discomfort and was having to drain my stomach literally every day so um we figured out it was my feed rate um now my feed rate has been down to 55 for quite a while um i don't get any more breaks i used to get like a four hour break but now i don't get any more breaks because if i did i'd be losing weight instead of gaining weight or maintaining um, and I still have weight to put on, but we don't think that's going to happen with me only being able to be at 55 now and doing 24-7 feeds. But, um, we'll just have to see because my stomach testing was so off that we don't want to do any more damage. So, um, I cannot remember what I was going to tell you guys. I think that's about it. Next week I have the guy well, to come out, <laughs> um, measure the house and my tube change, which I can't even really fully get excited about because 
for right now all I can think about is school because it's been extremely stressful but um I'm going to try and record other stuff maybe I'll get around to it maybe I won't be able to I don't know but hoping to guess you guys see if the next clip is just me sitting here or if I'm somewhere else hey guys so Clearly, I am not staying home all week because I'm out right now and I totally forgot I had to come to the clinic to pick up my feeding tube for my doctor. Um, just because the hospital where I'm getting it done at is not the same hospital that I initially got it done at because feeding tube placements are, um, are like feed, feeding tube changes are a little bit less complicated the, than the initial placement. So I just go and get it done in interventional radiology in town. But obviously because of when my bowel got perforated, it kind of scared me. Um, I'm not going back to the same hospital that that happened. Uh, I'm going to a different hospital in my town. But I have to still come here and pick up my tube because like I said, it was special delivered and um given to me for free but um yeah i will show you guys what it looks like whenever i get out of the clinic it should only take a minute okay so it literally only took a second i had to walk in there and then just pick it up um i don't even know i don't think i should open this box because it is surgical equipment um but here is the tube. I don't know what's all in here. What all is in here? Uh, but I don't know. It seems to be secured. I'm not gonna open it. Maybe I will if it's not like, oh, it's not taped shut. Okay, I guess I'm opening it. Okay, yeah. So, it's No out. number available. Press you connect phone button and say text message to read it. That scared me. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, it's all surgical equipment. There is extension sets in here. But, um, this is what it looks like. Uh, oh my gosh, it's so tiny. It makes me so excited. I don't know if you can see that. Um, <laughs> my tremors are bad right now um, but that is the teeny tiny button that is just going to be sitting on the outside of my stomach and it's pretty flat too like I'm excited I get it placed on Tuesday and today's Friday so less than a week away but I'm also kind of nervous so I don't know we'll see how things go I feel weird with my hair this short also um you can't really see what it looks like too well in this lighting because the lighting is all weird but i'm going to um the hip-hop show tonight i wasn't gonna go i actually told daquan that um i couldn't go at first because of covid's getting really bad again but <laughs> you only get one life which I know that could go either way. People could say you only have one life, so you should protect it. But what good is that life if you don't do anything with it? So um, I'm going to the hip hop show tonight. It is socially distanced and um, they are taking all precautions and I will be as well because obviously um, I have a very low immune system, like I've said before, but, um, that is from my immunological condition and it gets destroyed by mast cells. And, um, so I'm just taking extra precautions and going to be extra careful, but I'm not going to just stay inside all the time because that isn't a life and I don't want to start getting depressed. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to have fun tonight. But yeah, 
I'll update you guys later on. Hey guys, sorry you can't see me right now. It is very dark. So, uh, about to watch a movie with my family. They actually literally just started it, but my mom is asking for what I want for Christmas, my Christmas list. Yes, I still make a Christmas list at 24. But, um, I wrote it down somewhere and I'm about to give it to her. So, tonight was a lot of fun, but it didn't last long because, like I said, or I think I said, I don't know, I think what I said earlier is that uh, there was supposed to be only 57 people allowed into this hip-hop show and um, there was also supposed to be masks worn and like all the COVID precautions taken which of course I wore my mask and um, came in and there was hardly anybody there but the ones that were there were not wearing masks. And then um, it more and more people started coming. And like when I got in there, I went and sat at a table in the back and um, like waited for Daquan to come to the table. Uh, and he introduced me to his friends and everything and in the back there was like nobody so I sat back there and um, then more and more people started to show up and no one was wearing masks and um, then my heart started having problems and there was flashing lights um, but yes with all of this going on I had to leave and I felt really bad because Daquan came with me, like he brought me and wasn't there with anybody else. I mean, his friends were performing, but um, he didn't bring anybody else. So I felt really bad for leaving, but I couldn't stay there. I did, however, get some footage from the show and this actually almost made me tear up whenever I was there. I'm going to insert that footage. Broken down, Miss Freedom took his name, over leech, they would feed him. Also change, turn the page, they need freedom. And I act of fear, white man's own scenes. They need a garden, so it won't have an end. There's too much power in the hands of a broken man. Change the system, too many niggas shot dead. Oh, here we are, here we go again. gotten the beginning of this song this guy made the song um i hope that you guys can also hear it sorry i didn't record anything of um me and daquan enjoying ourselves there but it was so loud like you guys wouldn't have been able to hear anything um but yeah shortly after getting there and hearing a few songs i had to leave um which was disappointing um my parents came pick me up picked me up and um, I just took my meds, but I can't find my Christmas list. Anyways, yeah, that's how tonight went. And now I'm gonna go out there and watch the movie because I just started it. Good morning, everyone. So it is the next morning. Uh, <coughs> I did not get very much sleep last night, but and that's why I look tired and it's also not even exactly morning because I just woke up an hour ago and it's one in five minutes so oh you guys can't see that but anyways 
Um, I'm just gonna give one quick last update. First off, I'm not sure if you guys remember me using this inhaler. Oh gosh, my hives are bad. Mm. This is not all chub. Some of it's chub, but my throat is swollen right now. This inhaler has bad side effects. And I don't like it. I don't know if I'm going to continue using it. I have to talk to my doctor about it. But also, it said it only had 60 puffs in it. And it's been 30 days and I take two puffs a day. And it still has a little bit more left in it. But anyways, <clears throat> I have to talk to my doctor about it because it's making me have coughing fits. And it's been doing that literally since day one of using it. But, okay, so next time I am vlogging, next upload you guys will get after this one is um, just going to be a super quick update and my tube change, which I am really nervous about. I don't know how that's going to go. I'm going to show you guys the button one last time. Alright, so this was custom made for me. It is 18 French, which is the tube diameter. This is 2 centimeters, which is how much space is from the inside of my stomach to the outside of my stomach. And this is just the length of the tube. It's 22 centimeters, so this is the part that sits outside of my stomach, and the rest of this all extends into my intestines. And this is what it's going to look like. So all this is going to be sitting on the inside of my stomach. And these are going to come into uh, these spots. They're like plugs for the little holes right there. So in reality, it's only that big. And that big. That's how tiny it is. And these are the little extension thingies. And it's really cool because they're wide ports. And the button glows in the dark. So if I'm doing night feeds and it's dark in my room and I can't see all that well, I'll be able to tell where this is in the button because these little thingies. They, they look like the plugs, but they actually, that's the end of the tube. And then it goes just like this tube. And um, these little Y ports, which this one, I won't need the Y port because I don't give medicine in my stomach, but um, the Y port on this one, it's going to be nice because I can give medications while still hooked up to my feeds. But, yeah. Guys, okay, I literally came on here to end the vlog, but totally got distracted. I don't know if you saw the excitement on my face as I was forgetting to end the vlog and stopped recording. But my mom started playing Christmas music and then I just got excited and forgot to end it. Anyways, um... If you guys enjoyed this video, then hit that thumbs up button. Also, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I have noticed um, a drastic increase in subscribers, and we are almost to 200. We just have 38 left to get to 200 subscribers, and then I'll be doing another giveaway. And um, it'll be, uh, I think I'm going to do merch of your choice. Uh, but I... I'm still planning on making new merch, so that will probably be what is given away at the next subscriber giveaway. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you watch my videos regularly, or if you enjoy my videos or find them helpful, then hit that subscribe button, and 
If you would like to receive notifications when I upload new videos, then hit that bell notification sign. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Bye.